this map, we've got every single team in FC24 and using Barcelona, we're gonna try to conquer them one by one until we take over the world. Here's how this works. We spin this arrow and it points west. On our map, west of Barcelona, we find Huesca. Then we open FC24 and sim the match and we win it 1-0. Then we come back to our map and take over Huesca's land. And also we shift our logo where Huesca's logo used to be. Now, because we only won by a single goal, we only get the land. But if we were to win by two goals or more, we would actually get a player from the team that we just beat or if we don't like any of their players we can give a plus one overall boost to any one of our players now what happens when we lose let's say huesca won one nil then they would get half of our land but if they had won by two goals then they would get half of our land plus erase one player from our starting 11 determined by spinning a wheel and in this case we would have to say goodbye to our right back kunde oh and if we lose by three goals or more that's where we'll end the video all right let's keep going from our position in huesca the arrows pointing southwest which means it's a match against Real Zaragoza. They're a three and a half star side in the second division and we actually lose it in penalties. Didn't think we would lose this early on. Now whenever it's a win or lose on penalties we'll only count that as a goal difference of one which means we'll only lose half our land. So now we're back in Barcelona spinning the arrow and it points northwest. Had to double check this one and it actually hits Zaragoza once again and again we lose 3-2. Unbelievable. Looks like this video is gonna end sooner than I thought. The only thing we've got going for us is we're only losing by a goal and we're pointing towards Zaragoza once again so third time's the charm and we beat them 2-1 so finally goodbye to Zaragoza but again we're not going to be able to take any players from them now from this spot our arrows pointing northeast which means we're heading into France to face Toulouse and we beat them 2-1 again by the same score line only by a single goal so we're not able to take any players from Toulouse all it means is we get their land and we continue attacking from Toulouse and we get south so in this instance directly south South of us we find no teams and if we zoom all the way out we've got africa down there and there's not a single club team from africa in fc24 unfortunately so what we'll do we'll take the closest team south of us and that team is andorra fc we at least better win this one by two goals and we do 3-1 which means we erase fc andorra from the map and since most of their players are rated in the mid 60s we're gonna give a plus one overall boost to mark gu now you may be wondering why we just boosted mark gu when we could have boosted any of our starting 11 players that's because we've also got this rule that i didn't mention earlier any players rated higher than 80 overall can't get boosted anymore this is so that the highest rated players remain kind of special for example let's say we played psg and beat them by two goals and we wanted to take mbappe who's rated 91 overall and at that point if Lewandowski got boosted all the way to like 96 or 97 it wouldn't make mbappe as special all right continuing from our location in andorra we get north slightly east and over in that direction we actually find Rode, they're a two-star League 2 side, and we barely beat them with Lewandowski scoring the 87th minute, but hey, a win is a win. We take over Rode's land and move further north into France, and now our next direction of attack will be southeast, and over in that direction, we find Montpellier. I switch Romeo with Pedri in the starting 11, <laughs> but we lose this match 2-1, so Montpellier kicks us out of France. We'll count this as half of our land, and now from this position, our direction of attack is southeast. Now, following the arrow the closest team i would say is mallorca and we beat mallorca by two goals leva had a hat trick so now we're gonna be adding an 82 rated sergi dardar to our team and we also take over mallorca's land and from our current position our next direction of attack is west so over in that direction we find valencia valencia is gonna be tough to beat but we beat them 2-1 which means we're back on mainland spain right here too bad we're not gonna be getting any players from valencia but our next direction of attack is again west and right west of us we find the other other Valencia team Levante and we beat Levante 3-0 that was our most decisive win so far we take over Levante's land and we'll give a plus one upgrade to Roque I realize he would have been a better option to upgrade instead of Mark Giu in the first place now from this spot in Spain we get south it's slightly east so we're gonna attack El Dense right here they are a two and a half star side and we beat them 2-0 so another plus one goes to Vitor Roque and we erase El Dense from the map we also head southeast and then spin our arrow to attack attack east it's also slightly south so in this direction we have nobody again now we could choose to do this 
where we take over the entire continent. But this wouldn't really make that much sense if there's a team like Elche right next to us. But let's say we totally took over Spain and Portugal, then the arrow pointed south. That's when I think it would make sense to take over Africa. But until then, we'll just attack the team that's closest to us whenever there are no teams directly in the path of the arrow. So against Elche, we win 4-0. The plus one goes to Roque once again. And now from this position, we're attacking southwest, which makes things easy because we have Cartagena there. And we take out Cartagena 5-1. So Roque now becomes an 80 overall. We can't boost him anymore. That was his final plus one. And we erase Cartagena from the map, move further southwest, and spin our arrow once again. And it points south, slightly west, which means we'll be attacking Almeria. And in this match, we'll have Roque in the starting 11. And we end up winning it in penalties. Roque missed his penalty. And Rafinha actually scored both our goals to save us. So Roque not looking impressive at all. We get the job done, though. We keep moving further south. And from here, we're going to be attacking next door, Granada. And we beat Granada 4-1. Lewandowski with a hat trick once again. And from Granada, we'll take the 78-rated goalkeeper, Augusto Bataya, as a backup. And we also erase Granada from the map and continue our attack. The next direction is again southwest and in that direction we've got Cadiz and we say goodbye to Cadiz as well and also we get a better backup goalkeeper in Ledesma in case we end up losing Ter Stegen we're not looking too bad our goalkeeping's got a huge boost and our next direction of attack is northeast and over in that direction we've got Sevilla Sevilla is going to be our toughest test so far and we beat them 1-0 and from this spot right here we're going to be attacking Betis Real Betis are also based in Sevilla if you didn't know and we beat them 3-1 so good by Real Betis and welcome Nabil Fekir. At this point, we haven't had to erase any players because we haven't lost by two goals. The arrow's pointing northeast, so that's Alcorcon, and we beat them 1 0. Goodbye, Alcorcon. This brings us closer to having an El Clasico soon, as there's only Getafe and Vallecano in between us. So let's see if the arrow's gonna be pointing east. It did, and although it's southeast, southeast of us is still Getafe. And even though we went down to 10 men, we ended up winning it in the 86th minute with Joao Felix's goal. So head Tough is a race from the map, and now we're neighbors with Real Madrid. Let's see if the arrow wants an El Clasico. Almost. First, we have to play Vallecano, and we beat them by a goal. So now we've surrounded Madrid even more. Does the arrow want an El Clasico? It doesn't. Well, at least not yet. It wants us to go into Portugal first. This is Rio Ave. They're a three and a half star club, and we beat them 3 1. So no problems getting into Portugal. And also, we'll take the 75 rated right wing back, Costinha, with us. Now, does the arrow want? want that El Clasico. It doesn't. It's pointing west, slightly south, but we still hit Vizela, and we beat them 5-2. And this is interesting now, because now we're neighbors with Porto, but first we have to give a plus one to Kubarsi. I'm gonna try to boost this kid all the way up to 80. And now let's see if we get to face Porto here. And we actually don't hit Porto. We'll have to play Boavista. They're a three-star team, and we beat them 2-1. So with the win, we now move north of Porto, further away from Real Madrid. And our next direction of attack will be south, which means it's Porto. Porto is only a four-star side, and we lose to them, 2-1. So they push us back, and I think this is 50% of our land. We have yet to erase a player, though. So from this position, arrows pointing northeast, and is this an El Clasico? Right in the center of our logo, have to draw the line, but it ends up hitting Porto. So once again against Porto, we win it on penalties. Well, that was close. We say goodbye to Porto. We also have to move our logo into Portugal because this is where Porto was. And from this spot on the map, we get northwest. So north of us, the closest team is Gil Vicente. And we beat them 2-0. No issues here. We're moving further north into Portugal. Avoiding that El Clasico like the plague. <laughs> When Kubarsi goes up to a 66 overall, as we spin the arrow for our next attack, and it's east. Right next to us is Famalicao. They are a three-star side, and we win it. 3-1. Goodbye, Famalicao. Kubarsi gets another plus one, and let's see if we keep moving eastwards. We are. This arrow does hit next door, Chavez, and we beat them 2-0, which means Kubarsi goes up to a 68, and we move eastwards next to attack southeast. Now, southeast of us, it would be Africa but we're going to be attacking Valladolid since they're also just right here. And we win the match 3-2. So we'll take over Valladolid's land and move our logo where Valladolid's was. And again, we're one step closer to that El Clasico. Do we get it with this arrow? It's close, but not close enough. Points to this team instead, Burgos. They're a three-star side in the second division and we beat them 1-0. So we're slowly surrounding Madrid. Let's see if we get the El Clasico this time. 
We don't. Heading northwest, it's Sporting Gijon. And we beat them 3-0. Kubarsi goes up to a 69 overall. And again, we move further away from Madrid. And spinning the arrow for our next attack. And it's west. So we have to play against Real Oviedo. And we beat them 1-0. Man, the arrow doesn't want to mess with Real Madrid right now. And from this northwestern point in Spain, we get southwest. So this is Vitoria. And we beat them 2-0. So Kubarsi goes up to 70 overall. And we take out one more Portuguese side. We've only got Braga up here and we're gonna attack south actually so still no El Clasico but south of us this is Moreirense their three-star side and we beat them 5-1 and Kubarsi goes up to 71 overall so we head back south and now do we finally get an El Clasico here I think we do I mean this looks for sure we're gonna have it played at Bernabeu and here we go Real Madrid win it 3-2 Modric got the winner but we still haven't lost by two goals so we'll count this as 50% of our land as Real Madrid expands its territory now, do we attack Real Madrid again? And no, we get Southwest instead. And from this position, we actually have to play Benfica. We beat Benfica 3-2. It looks as if we're running away from Real Madrid here. And we've also completely surrounded Arauca, which means we have to play against them. This is just another one of those rules that just makes sense when you do this kind of video over and over again. And we beat Arauca in extras. The map just stays cleaner and easier to follow this way. And now that we're next to the Atlantic Ocean, if we get West... I'll tell you guys about another rule. We get west. So in order to cross this ocean into North America, especially where Messi is, this arrow has to be super persistent. So we have to get this arrow pointing west three times in a row. So this time we get northwest, which is still fine. So spinning the arrow one more time and we get northwest again. That is three wests in a row. So the middle point of all these arrows is Montreal. We are running away from Real Madrid right here. Montreal are a two and a half star side and we lose to them 1-0. So Montreal actually says, no, you're not running away from Real Madrid, but instead they come over the pond and they take half our land. What a crazy sight. Back-to-back -back losses and now the arrow will point west because it's slightly south. We'll take the southern team here, Farense, and we beat them in penalties. Now guys, so far we haven't lost a single player and I didn't anticipate this, so we're gonna go for a rule change here whenever we lose by a goal difference of one instead of losing half our land we're actually gonna lose a player and then losing by two we'll lose half our land plus a player so that'll remain the same all right let's keep going i think things will be a little bit more interesting now the arrow points southwest that's portimonense and we beat them 2-0 so goodbye portimonense one more portuguese team gone kubarsi goes up to a 72 and we spin our arrow once again Let's see, Montreal, no, pointing northwest, so this is Estrada Amadora, and we win the match 1-0, we move further north, and our arrow points northeast, northeast of us we have Casapia, and we beat them in penalties, Joao Felix saved us in the 88th minute, so goodbye Casapia, only three Portuguese sides remain, we've still got Braga up there, and from here we're attacking north, so that means we're about to get revenge on Montreal, <laughs> win it again 1-0 Lewandowski missed a penalty kick Wanyama gets subbed on and scores to win it for his team unbelievable so now the wheel finally makes an appearance we have to erase one player from our starting 11 as we spin our wheel and it's our left winger so we say goodbye to our second best scorer in this video now because we changed the rules we're not losing any land so it's possible that we could rescue felix now if we beat montreal because it looks like we have to play them once again draw felix will be starting against us and we have ferran torres on the left wing now for the third time we beat montreal 2-1 but because we only want to buy a goal we can't take any players from them which means we can't rescue Joa felix and he's gone forever so we finally erase montreal from the map get all of our land back and guys this also means we head into north america we take all this land it's such a pain to do all these islands in canada and now we're gonna continue our attack till we get Lionel messi we're heading south the arrow knows so south of us we've got new england revolution they're a three-star side and we beat them 2-0 ferran torres gets two goals here our new starter trying to keep a permanent spot in the starting 11 we move south into maine we also give the plus one to kubarsi and and from New England, we're heading slightly northwest, which means we have to take on Toronto FC. And if we beat them by two goals, I think we can add Insignia to our lineup. 
and we lose to them 2-1 wow these canadian sides so again we won't lose any land but we're actually gonna erase one player and that's our right center back so we have to say goodbye to an 86 rated araujo here martinez will take his place now because we haven't lost any land we're in the same spot and we're attacking southwest and the arrow actually points towards new york city fc and we beat them in extras it's been a real struggle against mls team so far but at least we head further south inching closer to inter miami we all know what's gonna happen when we face them hopefully and our arrows pointing southwest where we have new york red bull and we take them out by a single goal coming in the 89th minute i mean the struggle continues but we take out new york red bull and our next direction of attack is going to be southwest again it's philadelphia union next and philly is actually a three and a half star side and we beat them in penalties seven six in penalties crazy so far we haven't been able to beat any mls size by at least two goals but anyways our next direction of attack will be southwest once again and southwest of us we actually find dc united and finally it's a win by at least two goals we win a 3-1 joa cancelo had two goals and we continue boosting kubarsi and from where we are now we're either gonna attack toronto fc or charlotte in this case we get west so it's charlotte and we beat charlotte 4-1 we'll give the plus one to kubarsi once again and we erase charlotte from the map as well which makes us neighbors with atlanta and we're inching one step closer to inter miami and to be perfectly honest i'm not rigging this we keep getting south it's like as if the arrow can see the map but this one's actually gonna attack nashville nashville are a three-star side with a hideous logo and we beat them on penalties frankie de jong saved us in the 86th minute so we move west now we could totally bypass atlanta united let's see if that's gonna happen if we get slightly southwest but we actually get north so it doesn't really matter we're actually attacking fc cincinnati and we beat them 2-0 which means kubarsi is going up to 76 and we get to erase fc cincinnati from the map we now have the mls champions north of us that's columbus but we get northwest and from our logo northwest we hit chicago and we beat chicago fire 3-2 so no player boosting here we erase chicago from the map this isn't what's supposed to happen come on arrow i mean we could still get to Messi if we get directly south but we get west so next up it's st louis city and we beat st louis 4-0 and you know what this means kubarsi goes up to a 77 and we take over st louis's land now from st louis we're still going west this time it's more than kansas city can you imagine if we don't end up playing inter miami having come this far but <laughs> St. Louis takes us out. I mean, we stay here because we only lost by a goal, but we do have to erase a player and that's our right back. So just like we did at the beginning of the video, we have to say goodbye to Kunde. Now, Sergio Roberto will take his place in the starting 11 and our next direction of attack will be north. And in that direction, we've got Minnesota United FC and we beat them in extras. And from here, there are no upgrades. So we're attacking directly south. And guys, this is where things get exciting because directly south of us is Orlando city and we beat them 1-0 we were down to 10 men in the 66th minute but it doesn't matter now we're neighbors with Lionel Messi now all the wheel has to do is give us south but it doesn't we get northwest instead so we have to play against Atlanta United and we lose to them but at least it's only by a goal so we remain neighbors with Messi and we get to lose our right wing we say goodbye to Rafinha here and I just realized Lamin Yamal is not in the game and it's apparently because he's under 17 that he wasn't included in the game so we'll have Roque take Rafinha's place now let's spin the arrow once again and we get northeast so it's a rematch against Atlanta United and we win it in penalties Rafinha scored in the 89th minute against us so we do erase Atlanta from the map but we can't rescue Rafinha so now let's see if the arrow will point south it won't but heading over east we've only got the atlantic ocean so we need the arrow to point eastwards twice more but it's not so it's pointing north and north of us we've got columbus crew and we beat the mls champs by two goals which means project kubarsi continues he goes up to a 77 so yeah while editing i realized i messed up he should have gone up to a 78 but we'll keep it going this way and we head back north to take over columbus and now our next direction of attack is north and over in that direction we've got toronto fc remember they stole araujo from us and we beat them 3-1 which means we get to rescue araujo he goes back to our starting 11 but i'm gonna put him at right back and we also erased toronto fc from the map that was a lot of land we just took but we're just a little bit further away from messi and we get southwest and over in that direction 
direction, we're actually going to play Kansas City. And you'll remember they took Kunde from us. So let's see if we can also rescue him from there. And we lose again on penalties. Sporting KC proving to be another case of Montreal. And we lose our right back. Which means Araujo's leaving us for a second time. It's also funny how Kansas City got right backs on both occasions. The only thing we've got going for us is we haven't lost by two goals. And we get south, slightly west. And our line is closer to Inter Miami, I would say. So I think it's time. Inter Miami, aka Little Barcelona, has a whole bunch of our former players. We have to win by two goals if we want Messi back. Quick simming it. Three, two one and we lose suarez he wins it in extras for inter miami now messi got subbed off in the 54th minute and inter miami hadn't scored up until that point he did play with a rating of 6.3 he did want to come back but suarez said no so we now have to erase one player and it's our right center back so we say goodbye to Inigo martinez which now means kubarsi is going to be in the starting lineup now let's see if we get to attack inter miami once again we get south i mean because this this arrow's more south than east. We'll count this as Inter Miami. They are now a four-star side. And we beat them 3-1. Vitor Roque, Ferran Torres, and Lewandowski. Messi did score against us. But the GOAT is coming back home. Messi is back at Barcelona. And we'll put him back on the right wing. We'll give him the captain's armband. So we can finally erase Inter Miami from the map. And spin the arrow once again. And it points southwest. Now what we'll do is we'll jump over to Cuba. And we'll spin the arrow once again. And from here, we get northwest. And over in that direction, we actually hit FC Dallas. And we win this match 4-2. Lewandowski had all four goals. So we'll give the plus one to Kubarsi again. And spin for our next direction of attack, which is northwest. And northwest from our logo, we actually hit Sporting Kansas City. They have Araujo and Kunde. And we beat them 4-1. Messi yet to score a goal. So we'll take back Araujo here once again. And we can finally erase Sporting Kansas City from the map. And from this point on the map, we're going to attack west. We've got Colorado there. And we beat them 2-0. Messi still without a goal. And he consistently keeps getting one of the worst ratings in our team. We'll boost Kubarsi to a 79. And our next direction of attack will be west. Directly west of us, we've got Real Salt Lake City. And Messi finally gets his first goal. We win 3-1. Kubarsi goes up to an 80. We head a little bit further west. And our arrow points south. And over in that direction, we find LA Galaxy. And we beat them 3 one and from la galaxy we can bring back ricky Puj. head south too bad no mexico teams are in fc24 we'll just spin the arrow and our arrow points east now and east of us we've got austin and we beat austin fc 3-1 as well messi scored two goals we'll take sebastian driussi from austin and the only team that remains in texas is houston and we've surrounded them so we might as well attack them and we beat them 3-1 messi with two goals again and guys since they've got nowhere to go we might as well just conquer them one by one starting with lafc but first we'll give a plus one boost to ricky pooch and now against lafc we win at three nil next up we'll play san jose but first ricky pooch gets another boost we also beat san jose three nil and ricky pooch goes up to 79 next up we've got the portland timbers and we beat them three two lewandowski had a hat trick and now we have the seattle sounders and this one's a two one win and now only one final team remains in north america and that's vancouver whitecaps and our north american journey ends with a three one win Win. goodbye vancouver and with barca we've totally conquered north america i don't know why there's a border here we'll automatically get mexico as well as central america and the rest of the caribbean and also young ricky goes up to an 80 overall all right now if we get east we'll go back to europe we don't have to have that persistent east and here the arrow actually points southeast i mean it's close enough to tenerife and we take out the second division side with messi's goal which means we're back in europe and we'll just take on las palmas since we're here they are a four-star La Liga side. And we beat them 3-1. So we say goodbye to Las Palmas. And I'm going to boost Marcos Alonso here. They didn't really have any players we really, really needed. Now we get West once. We'll have to get it twice more to move into South America. And we'll count this as West because it's Southwest. And then do we get a third West... We don't. We get northeast. And you know what that means. It's an El Clasico. We're back at the Bernabeu against Real Madrid with Messi. And we beat them 2-0. Messi scored. Jose Lu missed a penalty kick. So that means Vinny Jr. is joining our side. And he's now a Barcelona player. And we come back to Spain and erase our biggest rivals from the map. Now we're right next to Atletico Madrid. But first, look at that front three. Vinny Jr., Lewandowski, and Messi. At this point, I don't know who's going to be able to beat us by three 
goals and we get east. So we have to play against Atletico Madrid. We're now at Civitas Metropolitano and we lose by penalties. So we don't lose any land, but we're going to have to erase one player. So spinning the wheel and yes, I got scared it was going to land on right wing for a second, but it lands on goalkeeper. So we actually lose Ter Stegen. Now spinning the arrow for our next attack and it's east again. We've now got an 82 rated Ledesma in goal and we lose 1-0. Second loss in a row against Atletico. At least it's again by a goal, but we have to erase our left back. So we say goodbye to Joao Cancelo as he joins Atletico for the time being. An 81 rated Balde will be taking his spot. And now to see if we're going to attack them once again, we get Northeast. For a second, I thought we might be getting Mirandes, but it's actually Atletico again. And Ter Stegen was the goalkeeper in that 1-0 match just now. And the third time is not the charm because they win 1-0 once again and Ter Stegen with a performance of 8.4. We can't seem to score against Atletico and Ter Stegen and we have to get rid of our left center back I got scared it was gonna be Lewandowski so now we say goodbye to Christensen Kubarsi goes back into the starting 11 and look at Atletico's lineup with three of our players so I would be okay with not getting them next but we get east again but it's south enough so we'll play Leganes instead they are a three-star side and we beat them in extras Vinny Jr finally with a goal and Messi got the other two so it's refreshing to finally get a win and our next direction of attack will be west and over in that direction, we've got Sporting. Not an easy team to play against by any means. But we beat them 3-1. And we'll take the 81-rated striker, Gioqueres. He's been on fire this season. I think he's going to be a hot commodity come the summer transfer window. So it made sense to just snatch him up right now. Estoril is cornered here. So we'll just play against them. And we beat them 2-1. We'll remain where we are. The only Portuguese team remaining is Braga. But we're going to spin the arrow. And the arrow is going to be pointing north. So we'll count this as Braga. And we lose to them 3-2. Jokic has scored his first goal to take it into extras, but Bruma won it anyway. Wow, little Braga. Don't get offended if you're a Braga fan, but they're racing our left winger. <laughs> so Vinicius Jr. goes off to Braga. And now let's see where the arrow is going to be pointing. And it points north again. This is Operation Rescue Vinny Jr. And we lose on penalties. Vinny Jr. scored against us. And Messi was the only one who scored his penalty. They're going to be erasing a second player from us and oh no we say goodbye to Lewandowski Jokeres goes into the starting 11 and Braga's done so much damage to us in two matches and we get southeast and over in that direction we've got no teams but Albacete right here is south of us and east of us they are a three-star side and we beat them 3-0 as we have no more center backs we'll take this guy from Albacete and from this spot now our next direction of attack is northeast. So that's Villarreal B. And we beat them 2-1. Surprised we couldn't win by two goals though. And the next direction of attack is going to be south. Well, here's the deal. If we get south two more times, I'll move the logo into Central Africa. But our next direction of attack is northeast. So that's Villarreal. And we win it by a goal. Gerard Moreno really didn't want to come to Barca. So he scored in the 89th minute to save himself. And now from this spot, our next direction of attack is south. And we spin it once again. And we get south again so if we get south one more time we're moving down to africa and we are so this one's for all the barcelona fans in africa i wish we still had the south african teams and rest of the world but we don't even have them anymore so we're spinning from here and we get northeast which means we're heading into saudi arabia and the arrows pointing towards abha club they're only a two-star side and we beat them 2-1 messi scored both goals and we take over abha club's land and guys guess what we only have a few teams separating our Al Nasser and Barcelona now so we could soon have a Messi versus Ronaldo contest on our hands but we get northwest so over in that direction is Al Wehda and we beat them in extras so just like the MLS it hasn't really been easy here and now we're neighbors with Benzema's team which we're attacking next they're a four-star side and we beat them by a single goal so we can't take Benzema unfortunately but we erase Etihad from the map which now makes us neighbors with Al Hilal and our next direction of attack is southwest that doesn't work because there's no teams there. It's southeast this time. So we're going to attack Al Ahli. They have Firmino. And we beat them by only a goal again. So we're not getting Firmino either. So now our next direction of attack is going to be southwest. But it still means we're playing Damak. And we beat Damak 3-0. And from them, we'll take the 73 rated center back. Our depth at center back is terrible. And our next direction of attack is northeast. So from our logo, that's Al Shabab. And we lose to them 3-2. 
Rakitic, our former player, even missed a penalty. Had he scored, we would have lost half our land, but instead, we're going to lose our goalkeeper again. So Ledesma is going to join Al Shabab. So now in goal, we'll have Bataya. And when we spin our arrow once again, the next direction of attack is going to be Al Shabab again. And this time, we beat them 4 2. And we get an 84 rated Yannick Carrasco from them. Ledesma wasn't the best goalkeeper, so I didn't want to rescue him. And guys, guess what? We're now neighbors with Al Nasser. This is about to be our 99th contest and we get north. This is how Cristiano Ronaldo's team is going to be lining up. If we now win by two goals, Cristiano Ronaldo could be joining us and we lose by two goals. Messi scored, Mane scored, it went to extras, Ronaldo scored and Mane scored again. We hadn't lost by two goals in a long time. So first we have to erase one player. We have to say goodbye. I don't want to look. We have to say goodbye to our striker. Not bad. So Gioqueras joins Al Nasser. And to make life simple, Al Nasser takes over Africa as half our land. They also take this portion of Saudi Arabia. So we get pushed back into southern Spain here. And we spin for our next direction of attack, which is west. But there are no teams there. So we'll spin once again. And this time we get east. And because we've got these islands, we'll just be able to hop over to Sardinia. Otherwise, as I explained near the beginning of the video, we can't travel through big mass of water but here against Cagliari we win it 2-0 which means we get a part of Italy and if we get an arrow that's pointing east we'll be able to attack Italian sides and if we get an arrow pointing north we'll be able to attack French sides and from Cagliari we'll pick up a Yerimina and now our next direction of attack will be northeast and this is really close, but we're attacking Roma. And we lose by two goals to Roma. Tammy Abraham with two goals. We've been losing a lot lately, and Roma's gonna get to erase our right center midfielder. So we say goodbye to Gundogan. And now we have to give them half our land, which means they get all this in Spain, and they get northern North America, and we're pushed back west, and from here we'll be attacking Roma again. Gavi's now in the starting lineup, and we lose to Roma once again in the 88th minute. It's only by a goal, so we don't lose any land, but we're going to lose our striker once again. So we say goodbye to Vitor Roque, which means I'm going to switch formation. We'll go 4-3-3, false nine. Messi's going to play center forward, and we'll have Ferran Torres on the right wing. And now let's see if we attack Roma for the third time in a row. We get east, southeast. So in that direction, we've got Al Nasser. And guys, because we controlled Africa previously, we don't need that persistent east arrow to take us back over the ocean. So it's the second meeting between Messi and Ronaldo and this time Ronaldo scores the winner in the 119th minute. Mane scored again in this match in the 61st and Messi played with a rating of 5.7. So Al Nasser beats us for the second time in a row and they're gonna erase Lionel. <laughs> Messi. Well, they're actually taking Messi away from us, which means now Ronaldo and Messi are on the same team, but they're wearing the wrong colors. And now we have to play fake here at striker. And now our next direction of attack is again Roma. And we beat Roma in the 89th minute. Gavi gets the winner. Too bad we're not going to be able to rescue Gundogan, but at least we get North America back as well as Europe. And we completely erase Roma from the map. And now our next direction of attack is going to be Northeast. And over in that direction, we find Tarnana. They are a two-star side. And we beat them in penalties. They were up by two goals at some point. Unbelievable, man. It's been tough as of late. And our next direction of attack is east. So over there, we've got Ascoli. Ascoli are three stars. And we win at 4-2. So we erase Ascoli from the map. So we'll take the 71-rated Macedonian striker Nestorovsky. And from this point in Italy, our next direction of attack is south, slightly west. So we'll count this as Lazio. And we beat them on penalties. It would have been good to take Immobile from them, but that's not the case. So from this point, our next direction of attack is going to be northwest, and we find Fiorentina there, and we beat them by a goal as well. And our next direction of attack is northeast. Northeast of us, we've got Bologna. They are a four-star side, and we beat them 3-0. We'll take the 75-rated striker Xerxy, and at this point, I wish the arrow would point south so we could get Messi back, but we get northeast. And I'm going to count this as Verona because that's the closest team we find northeast of us with a border. And we lose to them on penalties 11 to 10 what that's just unbelievable so the player that they're racing from us is our left winger so we have to say goodbye to Yannick Carrasco and now our next direction of attack is east I mean with all the experience of us crossing oceans we'll go attack Hajduk split across the water and we beat the Croatian side in extras goodbye Hajduk split and now from our location in Croatia we're attacking southeast now over southeast we've got all this empty land in the Balkans 
lines. So we'll first take all that. We'll move our logo right in the center. And from here, we'll attack north. So we're looking to recover in Romania. We're going to play Cryova. And we lose to the Romanian side. That's just unbelievable. So we have to lose yet another player. And that player is going to be our CDM. And this is a tough loss. Our highest rated player, Frankie De Jong, moves to Cryova. Our starting lineup is looking really weak at this point. And now our next direction of attack is going to be northwest. So that's another Romanian side. That's Uta. Luckily, this team's only one and a half stars. And we beat them 2-1. Goodbye, Uta. And from this spot, we're going to be attacking the Hungarian side, Ferenc Varos. They're a decent three and a half star side. And they beat us by two goals, 2-0. Two we're still a four and a half star side, but we've been losing so many matches lately and we're losing our left winger here. And on our left wing, we had Gavi. So he joins the Hungarian side. Due to a lack of wingers, I'm switching to a 4-3-1-2 formation. We are banished once again to North America. And from here, our next direction of attack is North. So we're going to play Ferenc Varos. And we lose again. So we have to lose another player. And it's going to be our left center midfielder. And that's Sergi Darder. He also joins Ferenc Varos. This time we're attacking Northwest. It's a third straight match against Ferenc Varos. And it's a third straight loss this time on penalties. What? How crazy is it that we keep losing to a rest of the world side? So we lose our right center midfielder this time. And that player is Pedri. At this point, we're a four-star club. And Ferenc Varos have also become four stars. They've now beaten us three times in a row, just as Atletico Madrid did. And we have to face them again. Hopefully, we can rescue one of those center midfielders. And this one is a 3-2 win. We came back from behind to win it in extras. But all we're getting out of this win is land. If you're a Ferenc Varos supporter, you should be very proud of your team. We only ended up winning in extras on top of all the losses. So we'll take over Slovakia and we'll spin once again and from this location we're attacking southwest so over that way we've got Dinamo Zagreb they're also a three and a half star side and we beat them 3-2 so all we got here was land no upgrades and our next direction of attack is northwest which means we take over Slovenia and when we spin the arrow once again we get north straight north of us is Hartberg this is a two star Austrian side and we beat them 2-1 and now our next direction of attack is south well it's southwest and I had to draw this line here and we're hitting Al Nasser because we have all of Central Italy so we keep going and it's Al Nasser so it's Cristiano Ronaldo together with Messi they are still a four-star side but based on recent results I don't have a good feeling here let's see and it's a 4-2 win Messi scores he was the man of the match 9.9 .9 rating I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to recover from this as we lose our goalkeeper so as Augusto Bataya joins Al Nasser we're left with a 73 rated Iñaki Peña in goal and our backup is 61 rated Astralaga this again now means we're back in North America with Al Nasser north of us this time and our next direction of attack will be south so maybe we can recover in South America uh, we'll play Play Atletico Nacional right here since they have a border with us. Atletico Nacional are three star side and we beat them 2 0. And we'll take a 75 rated Pabon from them. We have now officially entered South America and our next direction of attack from here is. <laughs> Northwest. We just got here too, but we have to play Al Nasser again. And guys, we're going to hope for a miracle here. Let's see. We lose again. Talishka with both goals. Ronaldo and Messi both got subbed off. I mean, it's that easy for them at this point. They're subbing off Messi and Ronaldo at the same time. And we're losing our cam. So that's Nabil Fakir going to Al Nasser. We now switch back to a 4-3-3 and I put Pabon in the starting 11. And hopefully we can recover some power in South America. We get south. So we have to play Deportivo Pereira. They're a three-star side and we beat them 2-0 and we're gonna take a 74 rated Kevin Vienda from them but we can't because they don't have 17 outfielders so instead we'll give a plus one to Xerxy and from this spot in Colombia our next direction of attack is northwest which means once again we have to play against Messi Al Nasser is now a four and a half star side but I think we're gonna be able to beat them this time come on let's rescue Messi and we lose on penalties Messi scored against us so it's apparent that he doesn't want to come back and we have to erase our left center back. So that's Kubarsi and he also joins Al Nasser. This, I believe, was our fourth loss to Al Nasser. And next is Southeast. So that's Deportes Tolima, a decent three-star side. And we beat them on penalties. So no upgrades, no new players. And now from our position in Colombia, we're going Southwest. So we'll count this as the Ecuadorian side LDU. They're a three-star side with a four-star logo. And we beat the current champions 4-0. And we'll take their 75-rated goalkeeper. 
Cooper. It's a two overall upgrade for us. And from our spot in Quito, we go southwest. So that's Aucas. And we beat them 2-1. Still in Quito, I believe. And from this spot, we're going northeast. And over in that direction, we've got Santa Fe. Santa Fe is a three and a half star side. And we beat them 1-0. So, so far, things haven't been that bad in South America. We're also now neighbors with Brazilian teams. And our next direction of attack will now be southwest so this is ucv one of the worst peruvian sides this season and we beat them 3-0 we'll give xerxes another plus one and now from our position in peru we're attacking southeast and following this arrow it actually hits brazil so that's go ice and we beat them 2-1 so we only take a massive chunk of brazil we move into the amazon forest and our next direction of attack will be north and over north we've got fortaleza they're a three and a half star side and we beat them 3-1 so no issues taking over fortaleza and we're not going to take any players from them instead xerxes goes up to 78 and now our next direction of attack is east and straight east of us there's only one side al nasser and they beat us 2-0 ronaldo with the first messi with the second goal so which means they were racing one more player and it's the right center back so now araujo joins al nasser and they're gonna take half our land i think about this much does it so we're again pushed back into the states so that's not decisive so we'll spin again and we get southeast so we have to take them out somehow they look absolutely stacked but we pull off the upset in the 88th minute pabon this guy's been amazing he scored both goals even though we don't get Messi back we finally destroyed al nasser we get all of our lands back after being oppressed by them for so long and move into saudi arabia it sucks that we can't get Messi or ronaldo from there but hey at least we've survived and next direction of attack is north so it's gonna be this team al faiha and we beat them 4-2 and we'll take a 77 rated Wakaime. We're again neighbors with Al Hilal and we have to play them. They're a four star side and we lose Neymar scores. Ooh, I forgot about Neymar being there. And we lose our right center back once again. So that was Mina. He joins Al Hilal. And we spin the arrow once again. And we get Al Hilal again. And we lose again. And we lose our striker. Xerxes joins Al Hilal. And let's see if the arrow points towards. <laughs> Al Hilal once again, and it does. Now we've got Wakaime in the starting 11. Third time's the charm. No. Milinkovic Savic gets the winner once again. I mean, we're down, but we're not out. We're losing our left center mid. So that was Driussi. He also joins Al Hilal. And now for the fourth time, we're not attacking Al Hilal. Well, it was close though. We're attacking Riyadh FC and we beat them 2-1. And our next direction of attack is again Al-Hilal. And we lose by a goal once again. And it's always Mitrovic getting the winner for some reason. And they're getting our right center mid. That is an 80 rated Ricky Puj. Next, we're attacking East. And over in that direction, we've got Etifak. But we beat them 3-0. That was an easy win. So we will take an 81 rated Seko Fofana. And our next direction of attack will be West. Which means we have to face Al-Hilal once again again and we lose one nil it's milinkovic savic again it's always by a goal and it's always from milinkovic savic and he's erasing our right back luckily at right back we had costinia so he's the one moving over to al hilal and spinning the arrow one more time and it points northwest but it's gonna be al tawun and we beat them 4-1 and we'll take the 77 rated ashraf al mahdiwi now we're looking to escape al hilal don't give us south and we got south but it's southwest so we'll play al hazem and we beat them 3-1 and we'll take the 74 rated Bruno Viana. This gives us a plus one upgrade as well as an extra center back. But I feel like we've walked into a trap. Look at this. If the arrow points anywhere south, it's going to be Al Hilal, but it points northwest. So we're going to play Altai and we beat them 2-1. So our escape plan is still on. And now our next direction of attack is going to be north slightly west. I mean, first, I think we're taking over Asia. Look at that. But because we've completely surrounded Al Raed and Al Hilal, we have to play against them that's what we did in the past if you'll remember estoril in portugal besides sporting so we'll have to take on al raid first so this one ends 4-1 our substitute striker with two goals nestorovsky and we take over al raid's land and erase them from the map now next up since we're closer to kalij fc's land we're gonna play them but first we'll also take amir sayud from al raid and we also beat al kalij 4-1 ferran torres has been doing the heavy lifting so he had a hat trick in this match and from al kalij we'll take fabio martins these three teams we still haven't surrounded from the south so unfortunately we have to play al hilal and 
It's not just 3 0, it's 4 0. Milinkovic, Savic, Neymar, and Mitrovic with two goals, which means we're erased from the map. Al Hilal deals the knockout blow, and it's the end of the Barcelona Empire. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and watch this video as well. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.